Got out of the house to do a scout, driving around. Really nowhere uh, intending to go until I spotted this house. This house is owned by the real estate company that gave me permission to do some of their houses. And it's 100 years old. Now, the gentleman just left. And uh, I'm probably going to work the shade. It's definitely hot today. Stay away from over here a little bit. They redid all the septic tank, reworked the dirt. But in the back, looks pretty good. Let's see what we can find, and I'll see you on that first dig. Use a shovel. Ooh, it's got some writing or something on it. Ah, let's get up and check it out. Hey guys, that cleaned up great. I have no idea that a big, gigantic clock component, but this is golden. And the reason I say that, this, let me go back to art, this will be used on one of my projects that you'll see a little bit later down the road. I'm going to repurpose this into a gigantic art sculpture. And it's going to look beautiful. I'll clean it up a little bit more. And it definitely will have a second life. First dig right here. Check out my uh, Excalibur shovel. It was looking a little rough. Got all bashed up. So I'm going to go with the green color. I'm going to get a green carbon fiber shaft from Anderson for the uh, XP Days 2. Then I got a green digger because I just lost mine. I went, went back three times and couldn't find it. So it's going to, everything will be a green theme. We'll see how the shovel lasts up. Cool find. Let's keep going. That was number one. I'm going to put it in the vehicle. I always talk about keeping your eyes open for surface fine. Well, here you go. Penny right there. First coin, surface fine. Bring me some luck. And look, it did right next to it. Got a signal, just turned the earth with a shovel, and then a dime popped up. Right next to it. Yeah. Well, because we had two back to back, I just went down with a pinpoint and knocked some dirt out. Bam, there's another one. A dime. I think, no, it's a penny. So, let's see what else. Could have been a little dump here. There's something right in here. These gnats are all over me. Is that it? Yep, there it is right there. Another penny. One of those signals was right on the top. Just moved it with my foot. One target's a Lincoln down in the hole. It looks like it's getting a second target over off on the side. So let's see what that is. Got us a dime, but it's a good example. Look how deep it was. There's the pinpointer. That dime was all the way at the bottom. Getting a uh, 93. And that was a dime. 2005. Still got to get some old coins. They rang up great. I actually thought it was going to be something really nice with just a brass ring for maybe plumbing or something. I don't know. Oops, right in the shovel. All right, on to the next spot. 100 year old house and the surface fine. Love these marbles. So no telling how old that thing is. Gorgeous.
Well, I'm in the backyard taking a break. You got a bench, nice tree. Just a lot of clad coins. Just dug another one. I'm not even videotaping uh, most of those clad coins. No wheat pennies or silver. Just that weird clock piece. So, uh, want a relic of something, man. What happened to all these lead toy soldiers we played with as kids? And just got to find some of that stuff. If you use the day is two. Let me know what mode you're searching in when you search around a house. I can't really do it in Relic. I mean, every step. It's picking up a nail, a screw, it's picking up something. So, I try to use um, Park, Fast Sensitive, General. So many targets when you get around, especially when these houses have been rebuilt a couple of times. Goodness. All right, I'll be back at it in just a few. Two pennies. Just found this clothesline, but I am spent. Just a little bit of shade here. Let's see what I can find when I'm getting out of here. Too, too hot. Shotgun round up under the clothesline. Guys, I don't know what happened. I guess somebody else beat me to the spot, but I didn't find anything old. Those clock gears and that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you on that next dig.